I think I should have loaded it first. Um, I think it was this one. Okay. Um, so I have a choice. So, hmm. I think she wants me to attack. Oh, what? What? What did I do? No. What did I do? What? Oh. If you keep playing like this, you... No, you won't. Okay. I didn't... What did I do? Um... I think I should play smarter. Hmm. But then again... I don't know how this game works. Um... So she doesn't want... She's like playing mind tricks with me. Um... Uh, hmm. I think either way, I think she might win. So, uh, let's you. Yeah, it, it's a trap. It's likely that she's trying to psych me out. Looking at the board again, I have a pretty good defense set up, and I'm not going to wreck it. Doing something reckless. Of course, it's Al. You got this. A few turns later, I'll lose the game anyway. <laughs> Hulp? That was a fail. Shizune adjusts her glasses victoriously and allows herself to tentatively pump her fist in the air in celebration. The thousand fists. I guess. Dot dot dot. Sign language. <laughs> Crap. Wahahaha. <laughs> hey Shen, you lost when you, <laughs> when you allowed me to take North America. North America? That's why I'm at. Oh crap, don't tell me I'm screwed. I mean, Shishan, not me. Depression. Oh, she's she's not amused. Getting control of North America is ambitious because it provides a five army bonus. But you can attack it from three fronts, so you must defend them all. Three fronts, so I think it was be it would be the ocean. It would be Canada. The way going down Canada. And then it'll be Mexico or South America. I think that's three fronts. I thought you had more guts. How disappointing! <laughs> ambition, Hitchin. You, your play needs to be more daring. Ambition, ambition, squiggly. I'm gonna really tell these squiggly lines. Dot dot dot. She is not impressed. She's like, ha, huh, you lose. You're in the council, which I find kind of pointless. I was really excited when you took South America, but then you switched to playing defensively just because you gained a small advantage. That's no good a chance. You didn't take enough risks, and when you did, you didn't follow through. That's terrible. Darn. What's it to her if I played too carefully? There's no need to rub it in my face. That is poor sport. Why is she getting closer to me? Go away. I wonder if you'd even be any good for the student council. Of course, I don't want to be in it. What's this, river psychology? Yes. Okay, I guess I don't have to worry about joining, or not in that case. Dot dot dot. Giving up just like that? I expected more from you, of you. I'm a new student here, come on! Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is horrible. Seriously, is Shizun trying to taunt me into joining the council? Besides, I don't even want to join. It's only my second day. Of course, thank you, Hassel. I can't make that kind of commitment. I haven't even taken a look at any other clubs yet, and these two, they're a little weird. Fine, I'll consider joining the council, but I want to take a look at the clubs before I decide. Don't join any clubs. Remember what I said. Really, yeah, Chan? You're not just saying that just to make us feel better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm just not sure what that I want to. Ah. Be disappointed. Shame on both of you. Okay, Chan. But we're not going to give up so easily, so... You said maybe. There's still a chance you'll come around. Dot, dot, dot. I just realized. It was it just right here. It's like connected to that. Why would a chalkboard need electricity to be... Okay, I'm gonna stop thinking about that. Come on, we could really have fun. We could play more risk and maybe one day you could beat me unless we graduate before that. 
that doesn't make me feel any less reluctant about joining you now. <laughs> Wahaha, squiggly line! Exclamation point. Surely you are not the, that horrible at board games. Maybe we can play a game, you know, then to give you a handicap. Wait, wait, wait. You just made a disabled jo joke. That is unnecessary. I might have said that just to make you feel better after all. Aw, oh, that's called a chant. See, look, I'm, I'm, I just want to punch her right now. She's like, she just, she's just there just to annoy me. Take a glance at the clock on the wall and realize I spent far longer playing rest than I expected. Sorry, I think I have to go. I wanted to go to the library. It's not closed yet, is it? Shizun scratches her head and gestures at Misha. Who's Misha? Who's Misha? Oh, whoops. Uh. Whoops. <laughs> it should be unless the librarian is absent. I think you're right, Chan. We th think the library is open. It's on the second floor. Can't miss it. Do you want us to show it? No. <laughs> no, please don't. No thanks, it's okay. See you tomorrow. Smiley face, bye-bye. Oh, ew! Oh, God! Okay, I'm gonna freaking drink water now. Oh, God. What is that? Ew. That's really disturbing. One flight of stairs up and I run into problems. The second floor hallways, a carbon copy of the third floor one. White, of course, and plain like only hallways can be. Except it has that picture at the end of it. That's freaking creepy. It's like, hello. It's like staring into your soul. Look, like, he may be looking over there. He's, he might be looking at this right here, this fire alarm. He's, he's attempting to pull him. If, if a fire alarm goes off, blame him. It's his fault. The problem is that the library's whereabouts are not as easily determined as one would think. The classrooms are marked with signs stating which class they belong to, but then there is a plethora of other unmarked rooms. What? What the heck is- I'm gonna like Google search pl plethora now. Is the library, library one of them, or is it just somewhere down the hallway? I bet on the letter- on the latter and choose my direction at random. After I turn around the corner, an unmarked door draws my attention because it's not closed. It's not open either though, it's just barely ajar so that I can see it's open and nothing else. It would make sense for the library door to be invitingly open, while well, this one is not quite that. It's good enough. It's good enough for yourself, it's good enough just because it's open. Doesn't mean you can just enter it, like it's your house. At the very least, it means that someone is inside, and I can ask for directions, no matter how embarrassing that is. I gingerly... What's it up with them using gingerly? Push on the center of the door with my fingertips, every muscle in my arm, ready to pull back at a moment's notice. Feeling of, of being an outsider to the school can't be shaken off from my mind. Uh... You, you need to... You need to think about that. So much so that it... I instinctively, f instinctively fear doing something wrong by entering. Oh snap! Oh god! <laughs> I did not expect there to be a animation for that. I mean, a sound. The door slowly creaks as if groaning from a deep sleep, though it is much easier to open than I had anticipated. Leaning over and poking my head out ever further inside to gain sight of the room as fast as possible. The meek, hello? On my lips, it's quickly snatched away. Oh! Whoop! 